So like the title suggests, uh, I will present a pack Bayesian uh, uh, learning approach to domain adaptation. Uh, first of all, I will do a quick overview of the domain adaptation and present a classical domain adaptation bound. After all, I will present a new domain adaptation bound uh, well suited for the pack Bayesian learning. And uh, after that, I will present to our approach uh, and uh, the algorithm we made uh, from it, and some uh, experimental, experimental results. So uh, first of all, uh, the, the, the domain adaptation is done when the learning distribution is different from the testing distribution. Uh, so for example, imagine that we want to, uh, to label a, a picture, pictures to know if there is a person or not on it. Uh, but our training set is uh, constituted by uh, pictures coming from the web, and our testing set are uh, pictures extracted from uh, videos. So we can presume that the two distributions, the one generating the image from the web and the one uh, generating the image from the videos, are uh, quite the same but slightly different. So the big question is how to learn from the source domain uh, a lower classifier on the target domain. So a little bit formally, uh, let's recall the classical supervised classification problem. So we will consider here the binary classification task where X is an input space and Y is a label set. So the label here is either minus one or plus one. We will denote PS the source domain, and uh, I will often use DS for the man marginal distribution of PS over X. And we have access to a source, uh, a label source sample, so a data set for, for our algorithm to learn. So our objective is to learn the classifiers, a classifier with a low source risk that we will denote RPS of H. In the domain adaptation, we add a target domain uh, that we denote PT, and uh, this is a distribution also over X uh, times Y. And I will still denote the DT, the marginal distribution over X. Um, T is an unlabeled target sample. So our objective here is to find a classifier H with a low target risk. So if we look at the procedure, we have a label distribution, a non-label distribution that generate two data sets. Our learning algorithm will use those two data sets to learn a model. A model. And finally, we will uh, learn, uh, we will use this uh, classifier to uh, classify example for, uh, on this distribution. Uh, a first uh, domain adaptation bound uh, is the, the one from Ben David suggests in 2010. So uh, uh, it says that uh, the risk on the target distribution of uh, classifier H is lower than uh, the risk on the source distribution plus a uh, decent measure that I will uh, talk about later and a parameter lambda, which is the, the lower sum of error between the source and the target distribution. So usually we will consider that lambda is quite small, otherwise there is no uh, learning uh, in the domain adaptation setting possible. Uh, so uh, to minimize this bound, we would minimize those two terms where the first one is only uh, the classical expected error on the source domain, and the second one is the, uh, the, what uh, Ben David called the H data existence between, between the source and the target domain. Uh, intuitively, the, this, this, uh, this measure measure how much uh, the classifier from the, the, the our family of classifier can distinguish between uh, the source and uh, the target domain. So in this, this uh, picture, we have the green dot that represents the, the source, 
Germain and the orange dot that represent the target domain. So uh, here, uh, dh delta h will be big because we can separate the source and the target domain. But here, uh, it will be uh, it will be low because uh, there's no possible uh, way to distinguish between the two domains. So this bound only bound uh, the error of a classifier h. To apply a pack Bayesian learning technique, we will uh, use um, an averaging over all classifiers. So more specifically, we will consider a weight distribution rho over h, uh, that, and uh, we will study the averaging of all classifiers. Uh, it, in the pack Bayesian world, we call this uh, the, the risk of the Gibbs classifier. Uh, and the, this gives a bound uh, uh, that looks similar to the bound, uh, the previous bound, uh, except that here we have, uh, we can uh, see it at a, as a majority vote. So we have the, the, the risk, the average risk of all the classifiers that is uh, upper bounded by the, uh, this is the risk on the target distribution, and this is lower than the average risk on the source distribution plus, uh, again, a distance measure and a term uh, lambda rho. Lambda rho is also quite similar to the one of the, uh, the previous bound, but uh, this time it depends on, uh, on the, the rho distribution. Uh, but uh, we will still consider that uh, if we are on a situation proper to uh, domain adaptation, uh, this term is low, so um, we will, uh, want uh, to, to minimize what I call here uh, uh, the B quantity, which is only the sum of the two first term. We want, to min uh, we will want to minimize this, but in the real world, we have only access to a source and a target uh, 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 sample. So uh, we want to, um, uh, we will need to use uh, the pack based theory to, um, uh, to to uh, minimize uh, to minimize this, okay. I will go quickly over the slide. Uh, just uh, I have I run out of time, but um, just to say that in 2009 we, uh, we developed an algorithm in the classical supervised supervised learning case where we minimize uh, the the path based bound uh, specialized to linear classifiers, and it turns out to be a trade off between uh, two quantity. Uh, the, uh, the, the risk, and uh, that turns out to be uh, the uh, sugar rate loss, that it is the sigma ideal loss, and a uh, regularizer uh, that it's similar to the one of SVM. And uh, if I go, go back to uh, my domain adaptation, we develop a similar bound uh, to, to bound this big quantity here, and it turns out to be a trade-off between three quantity, the risk on the source domain, uh, which is the, the red uh, loss here, the sigma loss, uh, the disagreement between uh, the target and the source distribution that uh, measure somehow um, uh, the, 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 the adaptation capability, and uh, the re common regularizer. Uh, okay, I still go quickly just to present to you. Uh, we minimize the bound by uh, the by gradient descent, and we test uh, our uh, our algorithm on a toy problem, which which is called the in, uh, inner twining moon. So here on the graphic, uh, the the red and green uh, dots are the source domain, uh, the the source uh, data set. It's always the same. But uh, the target that we want to classify is the the, the same two moons, but uh, rotated from for a certain angle. So it's uh, here we can see the decision boundary, and we can see that it adapts somehow. We can see that, uh, but we can see on the the graphic that uh, there's a kind of domain adaptation here because the boundary uh, is more interested. It's uh, to, uh, to classify the, the target set, data set. 
And uh, if we, you want to see the, the end graphic, I welcome you to my poster that I will have at the end of the day. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you.